part two of summarizing key takeaways from this very long post containing valuable career advice from a meta engineer. We've already covered how you should always be aware that you're nothing but a resource to the company and how you should always do your research before joining a team at a company. What's next? Takeaway number three, always, always negotiate very hard when you first get that offer. And here's why. The first reason is that when you're awarded a raise, when you get a promotion or because of your performance, that raise is not going to be negotiable. Plus, there's no guarantee that the manager is going to give you a bigger chunk of the budget that they have allocated to them, even if you perform better than your teammates. And number two on the negotiation bit, always be aware that recruiters are negotiating your compensation package on behalf of the company. This means that the recruiter has done a good job if you are a cheap hire for the company. The third point on negotiations is don't assume that you have a short time to make a decision on the offer. Recruiters will often give you a shorter timeline to make the decision than is actually the hard limit for you accepting that offer. Always ask for more time to consider other offers and close out other interview loops so you have the best possible collection of negotiating chips on your table. For example, this original poster at Meta wasn't even aware that their offer had a one-year expiration period because their recruiter never mentioned that to them. I'll wrap up my key insights in part three, so keep an eye out for that.